Oh, here we go. Ah, man. Not a ship in sight. What gives? That's it. That's why we came down here. So now where do we go? Is that the end of our quest? We're done. We beat the game. There's no more quest line. <laughs> uh, okay. Hello, the world. Welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy XV. Your host, Squirrels, of course. As you can see on the screen, we're in the main menu. Um, what I did from the last episode is I just returned back to where the car was so that I could turn in those two quests that we had completed out and about, um, sell a bunch of stuff, check to see if there was anything worth buying. Um, there wasn't really anything worth buying uh, from what I could tell. But what I then did was going through the main menu here, I went into gear, and I noticed that this is okay where I could change his technique, Ignis's technique, to either regroup or enhancement. So enhancement um, depletes the tech bar by one in a battle, and then the uh, regroup de depletes it by two. Of course, regroup is what gets us all healthy again. Enhancement um, makes uh, my or Noctis's main weapon enhanced by the enemy's weakness um, element. So I feel like Enhancement is probably more practical for everyday use. Uh, regroup is probably something that I'll want to switch to in the middle of a battle if I find that it's more difficult than I had originally intended, or thought that it was going to be or anticipated. Something else I noticed was that you can actually change the attire of, your, um, of the various uh, characters, and they do different things on the stats. Um, so you'll notice each one of these lowers his HP, but one of them increases his attack and his strength by and his uh, ability with greatswords, I, I guess is that what that is? I don't know. I'm not sure what that is. Um, but it increases some stats, right? So what I found is with each of them, um, they all have very similar outfits except Noctis. And so you'll notice now Noctis is in like this nice, very royal, uh, well, it's called the royal uh, raiment. Uh, really what it is is it's like a three or four priest suit. Um, uh, so, or tux or something like that. And I, it looks snazzy, sure, uh, I'll go with it. Um, but something about it specifically is he was wearing the princess fatigues originally. But you'll notice if I go to royal raiment, it increases his HP and his MP significantly. And then if I go to the one without the jacket, it increases that one stat uh, significantly, but still, but lowers his HP and keeps his MP the same. Um, out of all the rest of them, uh, changes are minimal as far as what goes up, except for Comrade's T does increase um, his HP by a little bit there. Um, and then there's this really cool Magitech suit. So I don't understand what this is. It says a special suit recovered and repurposed by Sid uses Magitech energy to generate a barrier that wards the wearer from harm. And then there's like a charge to it. And it says fully charged. And if you equip it, look at that. That's crazy looking. I don't even understand what's going on. <laughs> um... But I'm gonna, I wanna read into it because it does have a charge, and I don't know how easily I can recharge it or what it even does. Um, I'm gonna leave it alone until I investigate it further and uh, just leave his Royal Raymonds on. So that's what I was up to. Um, it was only a few minutes worth of work, but I figured uh, I'd, I'd spare you guys um, watching some of that boring stuff. Um, so. Something that we are doing, or that we're about to do anyway, is we are going to continue the main quest line by driving down to uh, down to here. Uh, so let's head back to the car. Here we are. Here's the car. All right, and oh, we it won't let me drive it by myself. Interesting. I have to let Ignis drive it. Okay. I guess I'll do that then. Auto drive to a parking spot or a quest location or a map point. Um, so let's go to quest location. That's cool that he will drive us there. Oh, and it actually shows where he's going to park. It shows the nearest parking spot, I guess. Oh, so in that in this particular case, I didn't realize we still had another uh, quest up here to do. Hang on, hang on. Let's go back. I did not realize we had another quest that we were still working on that was nearby. Oh, that's the level 14 one. That's why. That's why. We're going to leave that one alone for a little while. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm going to leave that alone. 
All right, so let's go back to auto quest location, and uh, let's do uh, our main quest line, and we'll go ahead and head that way. Everything in order. Yep. Mm -hmm. So as you notice from my playstyle, so let me start by saying this: um, I haven't really looked into right, any third-party. Interesting. Of course. Simple formality. One of those symbol of the peace deals. So it's more like a marriage of convenience. Her ladyship seems nevertheless amenable to the prospect. And not to your likes the idea. <laughs> What's that? I do? Buzz off. Alright, so what I was... That was a little interesting radio piece there. Uh, what I was saying, though, is... Um, um, I haven't really looked at too many third party or uh, you know outside sources regarding how to play this game well um, and what to make sure I don't miss out on. I'm not trying to play this game to 100%. I want to put that out there. Um, oh, look, the ocean. That's Golden Key. Kind of want to go for a dip. That a big mountain behind it? No, it's an island. Nobody goes to Golden for an island, though. They go to kick back and get massages. Can't say with the seafood. It's famously delicious. Sounds great. That's sound something good. I look forward to. But I'm not. Um, I'm not uh, trying to play the game to 100%. I'm just trying to play the game and enjoy the game. Um, and for me, that means finish the plot and uh, see what else there is to do as I'm doing it. Um, in the case of, uh, of Final Fantasy 15, there is a lot to do, so I'll I'll do you know side quests as I can and uh, as I feel there they'd be interesting to do um but oh, yeah. until i nice. feel like i need to consult an outside source i'm just gonna play the game and let it play itself from everything that i've read the game is relatively linear it's not hard to follow the plot line um and obviously it makes it a point to do plot quests in red so you definitely know what's uh what's plot uh what's the main plot and what's not but um do we need to refuel i don't think we do nah we're good. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so as you'll, as you'll notice, I don't really have a clear cut, like, I'm going to do this, this episode, and this, this episode, and this, this episode, because one, I've never played the game before, and two, I'm just playing it to play it. So, um, so if you guys are like, hey, you forgot some really cool thing way it. back, then just by all means, um, you know, mention it in the comments or message me, whatever, but I'm, I'm not consulting any kind of walkthrough or playthrough guide or strategy guide or anything like that um, to play this. I'm just kind of enjoying it as I go. Alright, I, I guess that's enough about that. Yeah, that's still unavailable, huh? Okay, so let's... Where's our quest? I, it's out... Oh, it's out there. Oh, okay. Alright, let's go. This is really pretty. Is this place amazing or what? Like, look at this. The breeze is quite this is freaking gorgeous. Didn't think I'd enjoy the seaside this much. Well, it sounds like it's made a good first impression. The water's pretty. Can I jump over? Like, will it let me? Oh, uh, nope, it won't let me. Invisible walls. <laughs> That's not really that invisible. I mean, that is kind of a high... Sp a high gate to, or a high rope to try to jump, but I thought there was swimming in this new release. Welcome to Golden Key. I guess we'll see. Oh, and we're walking. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Suspicious oh, stranger. The boats bring you here. What about them? Well, they'll not take you forth. 
And what's your story? I'm an impatient traveler, ready to turn ship. The ceasefire's getting us nowhere. <laughs> what's this? Some sort of souvenir? <gasps> they make those? What? No. <laughs> Consider it your allowance. The huh? Yeah. And who's allowing us? A man of no consequence. Oh, yeah, right. Oh. Oh. You believe what that guy said about the port being closed? Hmm. I'm skeptical. Well, I won't investigate the dock. Okay. okay. Let's say we go check it out for ourselves. This is amazing. All right. So I guess we're just gonna follow the uh, so full right now. icon. Oh, look, there's a little book. Read. Uh, the Hexatheon, or Hexatheon. Titan, the Archaean, steadfastest stone. Oh, these are all various um, um, summons that are accustomed to being in Final Fantasy games. Titan, the Archaean, steadfastest stone. Rama, the Fulgorian, sharp as lightning. Shiva, the, Gal the Glacian. Gentle as snow, Leviathan, the Hydrian, relentless as tides, Bahamut, the Draconian, unbending as iron, Ifrit, the Infernian, fickle as fire, since time imm imm immemorial, they have watched over Eos. Okay. Alright, so let's go downstairs, I guess. It's a nice place. Really fancy. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, man, not a ship in sight. What gives? That's it. That's why we came down here. So now where do we go? Is that the end of our quest? We're done. We beat the game. There's no more quest line. <laughs> uh, okay. I imagine something's gonna pop up as we walk away. Oh, there we go. According to my sources, the Empire given strict orders not to let any vessels leave the docks of Altitia. Real shame if you were late to your own wedding, right, Prince Noctus? Name's Dino, by the way. Pleasure. The Crown Prince of Lucis bounty hunting in his fancy car. Surely you didn't think it'd go unnoticed. At least not by this reporter. Lucky for you, this reporter has integrity. If you want to remain incognito, I'll respect your wish. In exchange for a favor. Of course. Of course we're going to listen to him, because we, I guess we want to stay incognito, and this what furthers the plot. Oh, we got 80 experience. Hey, I knew you'd come around. Let me see your map. Marked where you need to go on your map. All you gotta do is find me some rough gemstones, like this one. Do this, and your ship will come in. Don't, and the papers will run you out of town. Capish? Uh huh. Feels like we're being blackmailed. All right, head to the mineral deposit. All right. Oh, winning snapshots of the fourth photo contest on display now. That's cool. He's really got your number, Knox. Huh. Not like we made much effort to keep it secret. Even if we have, the press always finds a way. We need... Oh, oh what's going on? Okay. I don't understand. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Okay. Oh, actually, that's uh, probably a tipster. So let's go ahead and talk to her. Welcome to the Mother of Pearl. Talk. Feel like having today? Nearby havens have been marked on the map. Anything else? Nearby parking spots. New outposts. Cool. And procurement points. Very nice. All right, and let's go to the hunt spot. We'd appreciate help with these troublemakers. Okay, so it looks like 
down here, it's expecting us to be a little bit higher level, so um, I think we're, what we're going to want to do is go ahead and go back and complete some of the other quests. Um, I mean, I will take some of these, but... But, like, alright, like, let's take this level 11 one, for example. Oh, this um, one's especially nasty. Oh, is it? Um, but... What does this mean? Abort? No, okay. Um... But judging by these levels and us being like level seven, level eight, um, we're certainly in an area that of the game where I think we should probably be a little higher level, I guess. So, oh, which way are we going? Uh, do we need to go up? Yeah, this. Yeah, this is the land. Okay. So I think what I'm gonna do is drive back to um, the Warhammer or Hammerhead, Hammerhead. <laughs> drive back to Hammerhead, do the uh, that level 7 quest that we had passed a while ago, and then see if there's any other quests over there. Oh, there's a quest right here. Okay. Cat has a quest. Hey, buddy. What's up? Taking a little stroll? How come you're all alone? You must be hungry. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought. Hold on a sec. I'll find you something. Oh, gotta come up with some cat food. Could really? Always buy some. Or we could fish for some. Oh. Excellent idea. Let's go. Okay. Noxus can fish at docks around Lucis. Try angling from a fishing spot along the coast. Alright, so I guess we're gonna learn how to fish. That seems like a relatively simple quest, but... Let's, uh, let's figure it out. Where's a fishing spot? Over here. Alright, let's hurry up. Because if at all possible, I do want to head back up to Hammerhead and complete all of those quests as well. I think if we complete all the quests in a certain area, we'll probably get another reward. I might be wrong about that, but... Uh, whether we, whether that's the case or not, it's probably a good practice to get into anyway. Uh, oh, and when I say quests, I mean the hunts. Completing all the hunts in the area. Is this a fishing spot? Is that where we're supposed to be going? I guess so. It says Piece of the Beach is the one where... Oh, the Ruby Shears. Oh, that's a different quest entirely. Hang on quests. Oh, that's that level 11 quest. Okay, let's do the uh, the cat one first. That's over here. Where's the uh, their fishing spot? There we go. <clears throat> Alright. Have a look at this, Noct. Fishing spot. Alright. So I know that there's like an entire minigame or supposed to be around fishing. So, maybe this will be fun. Alright, choose where to cast your line. Oh, okay. Check minimap to find a good spot and press. Oh, okay. On the minimap, see how there's, um, there's like fish? Like little yellow dots? And it looks like there's a little big one that's moving. Oh, wow. So let's cast over there. <clears throat> Alright, move your lure by pressing space to reel it in and using the direction keys to move. A fish is eyeing your lure. Entice it, entice it to bite by mixing up your reeling speed. I guess not. Come on. Come on. I see you there. Come on. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, look, there's monsters on the coast. I guess not. Alright, we'll try this again. Maybe. All right, let's try this again. <clears throat> All 
Okay. Is that... I wonder if that yellow means that it's an ideal spot or something. Fish is eyeing it. Come on. Come on, fish. Bam, I got a bite. Okay. So quickly move in all directions in the indicated direction to hook the fish. Okay. Got a bite. All right, press space to reel in the fish in and wear down its stamina. Once the fish is all out of stamina, you can pull it up. All right, don't let the line break. Oh, I see. There's a thing. Oh, durability's at the bottom right, I guess. When the tension meter starts blinking red, stop reeling and give the line some slack. Oh, the tension meter's the thing in the middle. Come on. Come on. Come on, fish. All right. this one's there we go. Man, that was actually oh, not the easiest thing in the world to do. Wow. It's kind of cool. New record for us, of course, because this is our first fish ever. Congratulations, you landed a fish. Some fish are edible, while others are prized. Okay, so what's this one? Color of a fish on the minimap indicates its yield. The yellow dots represent edible fish. The rarer fish, the better the ingredient er or treasure it provides. By honing his fishing skills and acquiring new tackle, you can reel in real whoppers and, re and reap the rewards. Very cool. Okay. So, uh, I think I'm done for now. Stop fishing, yes. Uh, because I, I really was only fishing to get the, uh, get the bait, or get the food for the the cat so let's head back to the cat actually let me mark that quest there we go okay cat oh wrong way the cat's a little farther <clears throat> Come on. And then once we've got this cat settled down, we'll uh, we'll drive up. Oh, what's that? Something to pick up. Metal scrap. Um, and then we'll drive up to that to uh, Hammerhead. All right. Here you go. Caught fresh. <sighs> what? You don't like fish? Really? Oh, you only like cooked fish. All right. Really? Really? Consult the chef at Mother of Pearl. Okay, fine. All right, let's hurry up. Welcome to Golden Key. See, this would be one of those quests that I almost don't even want to do, uh, just because it's, I don't know, it feels silly and pointless. Welcome back. We use the freshest fish. Wow, it's really dark. Alright, let's talk. No new information. Is this not the chef? Oh, this Thank is the bartender. The okay. Quest? Hey, do you oh, see okay. anything a cat might like? That the best pickup line you've got? What? No, uh there's this cat over there. <laughs> I'm only teasing. I have a feeling I know the feline you've got in mind. Let me whip something up. Paying customers come first, though, and someone just ordered the last fish on hand. Would you mind catching another one of these while I make their meal? Really? I gotta go catch another fish? I just adore this shop. Oh. Absolutely. Give fish. 
Okay, I have a fish. Don't I? Oh, give the fish to Kakatura. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, I already have a fish. That seems stupid. Cats are clingy, and they're notoriously picky eaters, too. Picky eaters? You don't say. When it comes to food, felines are quite finicky. So you are wise to entrust the cooking to me. Here. Alright. Feed cat food to the cat. Alright. It's getting dark. Spoiled cat. Aww. I think he likes you. I guess. Clawed his way into a hole. Wow. Might Gave us a de decent amount of experience, though. Forever. And we got dragon scales out of it. Nice. Alright. So, let's, um... Let's take a look at the map. Uh, we need to, um... Uh -huh. Alright, so there is a bed... There's a lodging place here, but then there's also this um, camp uh, campground. So there's a few things in the area, but of course, like they're probably higher levels. Oh, there was a camp. There was a sleeping spot here too. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to this lodgings area. And. Uh, just because it's night, and uh, I'd rather be driving during the daytime. It, and plus, it's really hard to see right now. <laughs> Alright, here's the lodging spot up here. What's this? Oh, that's just a book. Alright. Alright, lodging... Rest at Havens or Outposts to tally your experience and level up. Lodgings at Outposts and Towns cost money, but provide experience. Alright. So this one costs... Wait. 30 gil to 15 gil? I don't understand. Sure. Ugh, I'm all sticky and gross. Alright. Oh, we don't get food when we stay at lodgings. I think. Maybe not. Oh, I guess we do. I guess it depends on the type of lodgings that we stay at. Oh, nope, just kidding. Alright, so let's see. We should get one level, looks like. Oh, wow. A level and a half. Look at that. And we leveled up uh, photography. That's kind of a cool picture, but I don't know. Eh. Hey, isn't eh. that... Isn't what what? Just my imagination. Huh. I don't know. Uh, nope. Meh. It's kind of a cool picture, but I think I'm good. Alright. So we're all set. Um, let's, uh, let's head back to the car, and we'll go up to our other quest. Auto drive to a quest location. This one was the level 11 one, I believe, right? Yeah, and then this one was also a level 11, I think. And then, of course, we can drive to our next spot. Let's go all the way back up to Hammerhead, though. Yeah. 
Um, let's see. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah. Because look at this. Yeah, let's go. Let's just go all the way back up here. Ready for more? You bet. Let's hit it. All right. And if there's uh, if there's nothing exciting that happens on this drive, um, then uh, then I'll just catch you guys when we get up there. Um, otherwise, I'll uh, I'll make sure that I include the conversation. You're one step above delivery, boy. All right, guys, uh, we are back, and it's a good thing that I decided to uh, to cut all that out because that was literally like five minutes almost of driving. That was kind of crazy. Um, yeah, but uh, we are here at this parking spot that we've actually never been to before because our game actually started, if we look at the map, our game, for the most part, started um, at Hammerhead. Right? I mean, we were pushing the car at s somewhere. I mean, but we could have been pushing the car along this road for all I know. Um, it didn't actually show us where we were. We didn't have a map yet. So we want to get up to up here to um, do this gorgers in the dust thing. So let's go ahead and track that quest real quick. Gorgers in the dust. We are, in fact, tracking right now. Um, so yeah, let's head there. That is a level 7 quest. I believe there are like random items off in these areas that uh, I could probably look for. Um, but uh, I'm going to leave it alone for now. I want to finish this quest that I took forever ago, it feels like. Wow. We had to park a half mile away? Really? I mean, it wasn't quite a half mile, but still. Alright. Hey, hey, you want to watch where you're going? Hey, come on, man. Calm down. It is kind of crazy, though, that, um, like, traditionally in Final Fantasies, uh, like in the older ones, anyway, um, oh. like, from Final Fantasy, like, 10 back, uh, you didn't actually see your party members on the main map. Uh, so it's cool that you, of course, see your party members, and the AI is really cool. They can you can run into each other. There's so banter strange. and conversation that happens, Indeed. like now, as you're walking around. It's pretty cool. Wow, this is farther than I thought it was. Come on, almost there. I think. All right, other side of this wall, I guess. All right, we're in the zone. All right, there they are over there. All right, let's kill these flexitusks. Oh, wow, they see us already. That's interesting. Okay. Real nice here. Yeah. Come on. As soon as I can see them, there we go. Let's scan them. See what they're allergic to or weak to. <laughs> Guns and daggers. I have daggers already up. And uh, oh, and they're weak to ice. I don't actually have any ice. Um, I have an overabundance of fire. Let me see if. Uh, let me just go into elements here. Um, let me make up some ice. It is kind of crazy, like it feels like a cheat that you can just go into the menu whenever you want, even in the middle of a fight. Um, and uh, let's craft these up, potency of 99, very nice, very nice. Equip it uh, in the fire spot. Let's equip some blizzard. Alright, come out of this menu, uh, let's equip the blizzard, and let's go ahead and fire away. Very, very nice. Let's equip my um, daggers. And into the fight we go. Oh, oh, come on, get me up. There we go. Oh, come on. Where's a the spot? There we go. And attack. Nope. Just kidding. Come on. Make it count. 
There we go. Oh. There we go. Oh, come on. Alright, let's do, um... Enhancement, that's right. I forgot all about enhancement. Very nice. So now his daggers are enhanced. So now they're get. Now I'm doing even more damage to him. Very nice. Or I guess they're only imbued for probably an initial hit. Can I enhance again? Alright, enhanced. And now if I do a... Yeah, 1.3 damage. Very nice. Alright, we're done here. Very nice. Okay, we completed that one, and then we need to... Oh, wait, no. Yeah, I'm still enhanced, so... Oh, okay, in the bottom right I can see that I'm enhanced. That is cool. I like it. I like it. All right, and so now our quest should just be taking us yep back to um, back to Hammerhead. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode off there, guys. Um, on the next episode, we'll be um, we should be back in Hammerhead. I'll return that. Um, we'll either be back in Hammerhead or I'll be in the car on our way to our next location. I haven't really decided yet, but I'll cut out the boring stuff for you, just like I did at the start of this episode. So uh, guys, I'll catch you next time. As always, like and subscribe to the R&D guys. Stay squirrely. Thank you.